Hey there, in this video, we're going to look at solutions of linear functions. We'll talk about what a solution is um, and a little bit about graphically what a solution is as well. So if you're a visual person, that might help kind of make that connection. So what is a solution? A solution is basically just the x-intercept. Um, in other words, the place where the graph crosses the x-axis, that is going to indicate your solution. So this point right here, for example, is your solution to this linear uh, function. Now we've talked about y-intercepts. So remember that y-intercepts are the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. So that's going to be your y-intercept. But your solution is the point where it crosses the x-axis. So it is also called your x-intercept. Um, now solving a linear equation just means finding the value or values of the variable or variables that make the equation true. So again, it makes the equation true and specifically solving linear equations refers to when we have y of zero. So if we're looking at y equals mx plus b, which is the general format for a linear function, when y is zero, we can solve for the x because m and b will actually be numbers, um, but we can solve for the x to figure out the solution of the equation. So for example, if I gave you something like y equals 3x plus 4, the solution would be algebraically solved for if you put a 0 in for y and then solved for x in that case. And we'll talk more about that as we go along, but that's what a solution is actually looking for or asking for. As a reminder, we've talked about how do we know how many solutions an equation has. And that does transfer over to linear functions. So we talked about, for example, if we had a degree of 2. Remember, that is a quadratic. In a quadratic, having a degree of 2 has a possible up to two possible solutions. Could have one, could have two, could have none. Um, but with linear equations, remember linear equations are degree one. And so that tells us that that means they're up to one solution. So it could be one solution, it could be zero solutions, um, but it is a degree of one. So that is the maximum number of solutions for a linear equation. So again, maximum number of solutions for a linear equation is one solution. Now, again, depending on the, the equation, it could have no solution or what we call infinitely many solutions, which we'll talk about as well. So just a reminder for a solution, graphically, visually, a solution to um, a linear function is going to be the point where it crosses the x-axis, the x-intercept, and that is your solution. And again, that is going to be written um, usually as an ordered pair for an x-intercept, but when you're talking solution, usually it's going to be written x equals and then whatever number it's at on that x-axis. And then remember the number of solutions for a linear equation is either going to be one solution or no solutions, or there could be this special case called infinitely many solutions, which we'll talk about a little bit more in depth in this unit as well.